Hey everybody, this is going to be a video on me watching the dishes. Because you know I watch YouTube all the time, I'm a YouTube creator, and I watch some of these videos and they get 17 million views in a day or a week. And I'm wondering what in the world is going on? How are these things going viral? How do these people get so many viewers and how in the world are they so foolish that they watch all this garbage that's on there and make these people famous and rich. So, obviously you can't have good videos or important videos online. you got to have junk. And that's the whole idea behind this video. So I'm going to show you how I wash dishes. This video is going to go viral. I'm expecting there's going to be like two zillion views on this thing in no time. Uh, I shouldn't be wasting water. We're having a drought. Um, let me get the sponge out of here. So, uh, there's going to be so many views on this thing, and I'm going to have like a billion ads on here. People are going to say, what in the world are you doing showing an ad every 10 seconds? So, I put on these gloves just now. I've had them in the cabinet for probably uh, four years, and I put them on, and they tore. You can already see they look like they're rotting. Normally I don't use the gloves and I always regret it because when you use the gloves you can have the thing on full blast hot water and if you go into a... I'm watching a plate for those that didn't understand. Ha ha ha! Okay, now keep watching, watch to the end. Uh, so, uh, when you watch the, the cooks, I'm not the cooks, the dishwashers, when you watch, watch the dishwashers in the restaurants, that water, I think it's like uh, 200 and probably like 900 degrees or something. And it's very hot, so with the heat of the water, not only does it sanitize, you want to have a sanitized plate, but it also kills the bacteria because the water is so hot. And it also helps dissolve all the junk that sat on the plate during the shift. So it's dried on. So, now anybody that is a male out there, well, we don't wash dishes. We don't wash dishes unless we have to. Because a man should not have to wash dishes. Isn't that right? But sometimes we have to. And if you have to wash your dishes, they've probably been sitting in the sink for a week or two, maybe, because you couldn't find anybody to clean the place, so you had to clean it yourself. Because, come on, guys shouldn't have to clean their own place. That's just not right. So what I'm doing now, this is called drying, not drying, this is called rinsing. Some people like to soak their stuff in the hot water after they wash it, but then you get all that dirty... Well, I know it's clean if you wash it. You got all that stuff to soak it in the water. And if you're going to soak it in the hot water, then you should do this anyway. Just to get off all that extra soaked scum and dirt. So I've got all my plates washed. Plates are usually the easiest. And the easiest way to do this is to fill up the sink with some hot water. Let it sit in there for 10 15 minutes to soak. It, it's like a, a giving a bath, a plate. Sorry, I had to put it in the uh, rack. Plates have feelings, plates have emotions, and they want to soak in the hot water just like it's a bathtub. So maybe a plate is a female type thing, and so it wants to soak in the bathtub in the water, in the soap, and relax. So you want to soak your dishes and utensils in some hot water. It will make things easier for you. And then after that, you want to get a sponge. I like to use these sponges with the abrasive. Well, some of them are abrasive, some of them are soft. I just like to use them because it makes it easier to get off all the stuff that maybe dried on there while you were looking for somebody to clean the place and wash the dishes. So these are the dog bowls. 
Always want to make sure your dog bowl doesn't have any dried dog food on there or saliva. So you really want to use full hot water for something like that. And so we're almost done. Um, this was filled with prone juice, so you want to make sure it's something like that that it's not dried or caked on the bottom. Same with coffee and tea if you have some iced coffee or iced tea. Or uh, I don't drink soda, I used to, but it's really bad for the body. So I gave that up on. So we're almost done. Got one more dog bowl. And then we have some silverware, some plates. It's not really silverware anymore, it's fakeware. It's incredible. You can go into the box stores and you can buy a whole set, like a 120 piece set. Forks and knives and silverware for 20 some bucks. Just amazing. I don't really want to know how they made, but uh, oh come on, I don't want any comments left about this part of the video. Don't be uh, clicking on the, the comment section and showing the time area where I'm doing this. You got to make sure that your utensils. And here's the mistake: you got to make sure they're clean. But a lot of people clean this. But they forget, you get it, clean this part of it too. Clean everything. Work it from the top to the bottom. And get your utensils clean. I shouldn't be wasting all this water. You really should fill up the sink and not waste water like this. Especially in California where we have this drought that well we're not in the drought now. It's kind of weird, you know, you have a drought, and they, they save your water, and then the minute you don't have a drought, they say waste all the water you can, and then you waste all the water, and then all of a sudden you have a drought, and then they want to fine you for doing what they told you to do, which you, you waste all your water. Okay, so, well, I got it all mixed up. You don't want to wash things twice. Life is too short to, wipe, to wash things twice, so I've uh, got that down. i got a thing over here. I don't know if it's dirty, but I'll wash it anyway. So this is how you wash dishes. This should get like a billion comments and zillions of views on how, this is a bachelor's guide on how to wash dishes and clean your house. Because, uh, come on, let's, let's face it. Us guys just don't know how to do this stuff. We're not wired to wash dishes. We're wired to sit on the sofa and think about life. Who's got time to wash dishes and laundry and clean and dust? Certainly not as men. So, uh, alright, this is the easy way. This is called the easy way to do it is you it's a special technique where you grab everything and the water is so hot it hurts. If I was doing this without the gloves, I would be hurting right now. Probably be in ER, where I'm sure a lot of viewers wish I was as they're watching this video. Um, so you want to separate everything to get all the dirt that you cleaned off, off of there. Off, off. How's that? Cleaned off, off? But if you cleaned it off, then it shouldn't be on there, should it? Okay, so I've got it in my dish rack now. And then I like I did, I did a video on these strainers. I bought these strainers online and they're really neat. The only problem is half the time I turn it upside down and I put all the stuff back down the sink anyway. But you know the nice thing about that is originally I was doing this without the strainer. I could put it in the trash can, sometimes I do. I was doing it without the strainer and it would sit on the disposal. Now the guy, so you don't have to use the, you don't use the sink that often, and you don't use the disposal because you don't need to. Um, so if you eat cans of tuna and mac and cheese. So what would happen is the stuff would sit in the disposal for weeks, and then I got to turn it on, it would be jammed, and I'd have to loosen it up with the wrench. So uh, I use these strainers. I guess that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, for those of you that don't know what you just watched, you watched, you learned how to wash your dishes. Oh, let me shut off the water. You learned how to wash your dishes properly using gloves to protect your hands from the powerful heat.
and you learned how to use a sponge and you learned how to apply soap to that sponge. Uh, what else did you learn? You learned how to pace yourself so that you did not uh, use up all your energy. You learned how to time this thing. You learned how to be calm while you're washing your dishes and rinsing them. And uh, I guess that's it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the computer and I'm going to transfer this over to the transfer this over to the hard drive and then I'm going to go in there and there's really no reason to edit because this is a perfect video. This is a viral video. So I'm going to go in there and clean uh, clean everything up, go and do the HD conversion and then I'm going to render it and upload it and what's the date? I think it's Sunday, August 19th, 2018. So check the count, the view count on this video. Um, as I said, we're at August 19th, 2018. By August 20th, I think we are going to have about 20 million views on this video. So uh, in closing, as I say in all my videos, make sure you do a thumbs up, a subscribe, or a like because it helps me out. If you want to donate to my PayPal page, ask for my info. That's not right. If you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. All right, see, I'm exhausted already. I should have watched my video before I washed the dishes so I wouldn't be exhausted. And if you have a product that you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I'll do the review. So thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, we got to make this thing viral. Watch all the ads. Thanks.